quarter 2020 is coming to an end and I thought that 2021 is gonna be a year of efficiency for me. So I've created a Tinder bot which could auto swipe users for me and I have open source my code as well. So, so I'm gonna show you how you can do that. Like, so you don't need any tech knowledge in order to do that. So I'm gonna show you in this video how you could do it as well. So over here, you can actually see my Tinder profile and that this is the GUI that has created. So what this does is it really just run through your keywords and to try to find users, uh, to try to match you with other users and it allows you to swipe on popular users or to like swipe on users who like you. So for example, if I put like some finance, tech, developer, trader, investor, because like those are the people that I would want to connect to or like people with common interests. So it's very simple, like once you decided whether you want to swap on popular users or swap on users who like you, you just need to press this button. You probably might need to wait a while or so. Then when you run it, you can see that I have run it one time and then you can see that there's an increase, there's suddenly an increase in uh, people that is swipe. So it manages, it will also tell you that, oh, like you swipe, what the reason that it is being swiped and then there's usually quite a number of uh, swiping of a left. Okay, and then if you want it to be even more efficient, so you can actually see like, I actually do an output of how many users that I, uh, that I actually check. So one run, the API usually gives me like 32, 34 to about 40 users. So if you want to run it a few more times, you can just put like, let's say three, then you just click this button again, run, and then it will call the API again, like, loop it like three times and then you can see like how efficient it actually is okay so we're just gonna wait a while for before it starts to have outputs on the on my GUI then you can see that uh, it's like running one time and then uh, then it runs again the second time then it runs a it's probably gonna run a third time Yep, so it's going to run a third time and you can see that after it's being run, a total of, so I just finished checking like 120 profile. Of course, like uh, this only swipe so based on the user profile and it doesn't really check through like images. So if you are more visual kind of person, this really wouldn't work for you. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to show you is actually how you can actually run this, uh, run this GUI on your own. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is to come to my GitHub profile. So GitHub is actually just a place where people store code and then they can work on code together. Uh, so you can just Google Wing Point or I can put the description down below and then you can just click on that link to find this folder. Okay, so over here I have uh, pretty detailed instructions on how to run this program. But uh, in this video, I'm just going to run through with you. So the first thing first is you need to download the folder here. So you just download the zip file. Okay, so once it's finished downloading, you just need to go to that place and then you just need to unzip your folder, okay? I'm going to go to another folder where it's already unzipped. So, see it's here. So when it's being unzipped, so you will see a lot of different folders. So, so these are really folders that, don't, uh, that you don't really need to care about. So what you need to care about is this. You need to find... DIST, which means like distribution, and then you just need to go to the main and look for the main icon over here and just click it. So the first time that you run it, it might trigger your antivirus or your antivirus might even flag it out as a virus. So for that, if that happens, like I'm not doing anything malicious, but then if that happens, you might need to run it like a developer, which I will show you in a different video. Okay, so when you first run it, I'm going to pre-populate it with a few defaults, so like one time run and then like just some keywords here and then like the two checkboxes uh, is being, uh, being auto-checked. So the thing that really helps to identify yourself is this XOF token, which will take a bit more effort and then I'm going to show you how we're going to retrieve your XOF token from the uh, Tinder web. Okay, so now we are on the Tinder web app. So you just need to right click on your browser itself and then go to inspect. Okay, so when you click on that, uh, this thing will pop out. So this is what we call the console. And then what we'll do is, we just adjust it so that you can see. So we'll go to the network. Okay, then you will click on this uh, XHR thing. And then sometimes you will see that there's this uh, API, this updates question mark locale. And 
this is so this is where you will get your X off token. So if you cannot find this thing, you just need to do a very simple refresh while keeping this console on. Then you will start to see. So even if you see like other API, you can just click on it. And then you will find, you need to click on, make sure that headers is being checked. And then you will look for this uh, X off token. Okay. So when you have that, you just copy it. Okay, so so this is very important. So make sure like this token, you never ever let anybody see it because they can actually use this token to identify themselves as you. Okay, so always keep this token a secret. So what you do is you just copy it in here and after that, you can just run it. So I don't store your token. So everything that I store is actually just on your local machine itself. So let's say if you, if I go back to my previous uh, settings, let's say finance, trader, um, developer, okay, three times. Okay, if I run it again, okay, so I'm going to show you, sometimes it shows like it's not responding just because uh, there's a lot of things going on at the back and it was just a very simple script put together. And then what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna close this. Uh, I'm gonna close this thing to show you that the next time I actually open this up, I save it such that you do not have to rekin all this information. So the only thing that you need to change is that sometimes your X off token will expire, so that you need to repeat that process again. Or like if you feel that there's a different keywords that you want to put in, you can just. Uh, change this anytime as well. So where I save it is, you can actually see that there's this, this user specs uh, user specs file, and then this is where, if you open it up, you can see this is exactly where I store your information. I, like, as I say, like, I, don't, I don't get any data from you. Okay, so the thing that you have to take note is that like, if you were to run a bot on Tinder, like sometimes they might just flag out your account and then they could ban your account. Uh, like that's what one of my friends told me about it. So just be careful if you want to run this. Just make sure that you don't run it too many times or like you don't just put a very generic uh, keyword such that it's swiping left on, no, so that it's not swiping right on every single one. So that you want to at least let it have certain certain kind of a rejection rate in that sense. Like, so what's the, what do I feel about like the benefits of uh, running this bot is that you would, because I'm actually filtering the user based on their profile and their job, so I feel like the users with the profile, they might have a more invested interest in like starting a real conversation with you rather than all the, uh, all the bad rap stuff that Tinder has. Uh, okay, so I'm going to show you like some of the conversation that I have that was quite interesting as in like why I feel like the users that you'll be swapping on, like if they have a profile and then if you did not check the swap users that like me uh, checkbox, they might be more interesting. Okay, like so for this user, we actually ended up uh, talking about trading and stocks and things like that. And, and also like the future of uh, humanity of like, where is, what, what is the future like? It was, it was a pretty interesting chat. Like, so it really defies uh, the whole concept that yeah, Tinder is just for like uh, general hookups and stuff like that. It's, you, you can find right pretty decent user on Tinder as well. And then so like this is another user that we managed to be talking about books. Uh, now probably going to add that to my buy list as well. Uh, so by Nassim Talab because I have like one of his books and I thought that's interesting. So definitely go to Tinder for stocks advice and book advice as well. Okay. So that's it for today. Uh, if you use this board, like, let me know what is your what is your results doing that. Like, do you feel like you have a, do you feel like a small impression? Do you feel like you swipe on better users or whatsoever? Like, let me know in the comment or just PM me or tell me that there are like things that I would like to improve on. For example, like, I really want to be able to output the users that you have. So the script has rejected, like there are a few future updates I'm thinking of doing it, uh, but I'm not sure if I have the time to do it. But for now, like if you use my bot, like do tell me, do let me know how it goes. I'd love to hear if like someone used what I have created. Okay, so so for the next video, probably going to dive into the code. Like if you're interested in that, do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.